Hi, I'm Mary Haifman, PGA and LPGA golf professional from Missing Links Golf Club in Mequon, Wisconsin. Here today in beautiful Wisconsin in my backyard and uh, decided to come out and practice a little bit. Now I've, I worked on my chip shots and now I'm gonna work on some of my pitch shots. So what's the difference between a chip and a pitch? Typically a pitch shot goes farther and higher and a chip shot goes lower so, and shorter. So what do I ha what happens when I have to hit it high and short? So luckily the manufacturers are making lob wedges and sand wedges with a lot of loft here that helps the ball shoot off into the air a lot higher as long as I am pretty consistent with my stroke. So I'm keeping my left hand, my lead hand ahead here as I'm going all the way through. So again, it's, it's spring for us, so everybody's rusty, me too. So this is going to be where I'm a little shaky on um, should I use my wiffle ball or my real ball because I really don't want to hit the ball that far. Um, now I'm going to have to work on to lift the ball up in the air. Here's where I'm going to hinge my wrist as I'm coming through. And I'm going to come through kind of sl pretty slowly so I hold my finish where a chip shot is straight. My arms, there is no wrist cock here. So if there's no wrist cock, that'll make the ball go a little bit lower. So I'm gonna purposely hinge my wrists and drop the club on the ball as I'm coming through. So I'm gonna try to lift it up over the packer cooler and drop the ball between. So notice how that flew out. That's a little long, so it would be I'm not going to be a proponent of saying use your t regular balls, your Titleist balls, when you're this close. We need probably to get back to the wiffle ball so we don't break anything, but I'm going to try real hard, hinge my wrist, and pop it up. So eventually, as I practiced here, I will be able to hit the ball up over the packer cooler and before my sign. So hinge my wrist and knock it through so you can see how far it's going. And I'm really not trying to hit it very hard. So I need some practice on this too. This is a little, little bit more testy shot. So get out though and try it because you need to be able to hit a high soft shot onto an elevated green. And the way the stroke that you need to work on is having a, a little bit more hit, wrist hinge on the backswing, drop the club on the ball and fin hold your finish that'll help you hit a much softer shot. Now I'm not talking about opening my stance and such yet, but I would go towards that eventually. But right now this is just a basic hinge your wrist, square setup, and work on that shot. Have fun and you'll, you'll get better at it.